morning everyone welcome to the vlog again uh, just heading into work this morning got the Timmy's think I'm willing to admit now that my wife and I are both addicted to Tim Hortons I can't go a day without a coffee either so I'm sure there's more than just me that uh, or just the two of us I should say that enjoy our Timmy's at least once a day so today uh, nothing real big planned like I said I'm just heading into work now I'll try to get some footage there if I can uh, after work I gotta do some stuff for my parents uh, they run a small takeout restaurant in Blonde River and uh, just have to do a little bit of running around for them and then uh, I'll be back home with the fam and maybe we'll get some stuff done in the basement again so uh, last night we posted another video for some reason YouTube uh, isn't like when I'm uploading videos they're going on to my channel but my channel still shows one video and there's three on there now this will be the fourth going up tonight and uh, I, I don't know what's going on I'll have to email YouTube and see what's up uh, we've been doing pretty good for daily vlogs I think we're gonna keep it up it's not too bad so far Maybe when we get into uh, the traveling and whatnot, I might have to just make a travel vlog instead of a, a daily vlog. We'll see what happens. So, heading into work. See you guys later. One thing I forgot to mention, guys, a uh, little bit of a, an update, I guess. Uh, we didn't have any views on yesterday's vlog, which is basically what I expected when I started this. Like I said, it's going to be more for family memories. Uh, I love the fact that people have watched them and I know we got a like on one video thank you so much um, if you're watching this please like uh, if you want to subscribe to it if you like what we're doing please subscribe I promise they're gonna get more interesting uh, just time right now isn't with us so hopefully after we get this trip to London out of the way and we'll be able to do a little bit more interesting things so we're still sitting at 24 views for the first one, 8 views for the second, and yesterday's uh, still has no views, which uh, is fine. It really doesn't hurt my feelings much, but I, I'm ecstatic when I see that people are actually viewing the videos. So uh, please like, subscribe, and comment down below, guys. Uh, let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, what you'd like to see on the channel. And let's, I really want to try to make this channel grow. If we're going to do it, let's do it right. So, talk to you guys later. Hey guys, just getting off work. Just picked up Addy from daycare. Say hi, Addy. We're just leaving the daycare. We're uh, heading home. Not sure what we're doing tonight, really. I think we're going to do a little bit of work in the basement, but we'll see what Mel has planned. I normally get home and find out that she has me scheduled to do something else so we'll see what happens when we get home uh other than that i wasn't able to get the camera out to do any footage at work today uh had a couple breakdowns so i ended up being extremely busy so uh hopefully in the future i'll have more time to do that but all right i'll talk to you guys when we get home addy how was supper yeah you wear it well. What's going on with cool? <laughs> Think Bud was a good supper? Yeah. Some good mac and cheese. Do you like mac and cheese, Addy? Yeah. Here, Daddy, give the camera to mommy. Daddy, gonna clean you up. Are you a good girl? Take care. Yeah. Where'd you go today? Go to daycare. Where'd you go before daycare? My friend's gone. Before that, babe. Where'd you go? You Where did you get your sticker? I got the doctor. You were at the doctor's. Were you a good girl at the doctor? Yeah. Yeah. How much do you weigh? 
Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. <laughs> Twenty-nine, yeah. And what is Cole weigh? Plus two. Cole weighs twenty-three. Is that good, baby? Hi. Mommy makes good mac and cheese. Just kidding, Grandma made it. Mm. Yummy, no. <coughs> well, as you can see, guys, we're just getting supper done. After supper, I'm going to catch a shower, and uh, I don't know what our plan is for the rest of the night. Sleep? Mm -hmm. I'm done. Might get some stuff done in the basement. We'll see what happens. See you guys in a minute. Hey, guys. Uh, not much going on tonight around here. We're, uh, both kids need baths, and other than that, we're both pretty tired, so we're not going to be doing a whole lot, but I uh, kind of wanted to give you guys a bit of a history lesson I guess uh with like more of our backstory more than anything uh I started dating Mel when I was going into grade 12 so she was I was 16 she was 14 and uh it was September 7th before we started the school year and uh we started dating then uh, like many high school kids, it was, uh, it was fun, it was quick, and, uh, our group of friends, we all kind of hung around together, and my friends dated her friends, uh, so the couples always hung around together, uh, when I went to college, uh, I'd come home every weekend to see her, I went to Cambrian College in Sudbury. So it was uh, two hours away from Blunt River. So I'd be home basically every weekend to see her. And uh, on her March break, she'd come up and see me. On my reading week, I'd come down to see her as well. Uh, when I graduated college, I was fortunate enough to get a job at a local welding shop in Blunt River. And uh, she ended up going off to Algoma University in the Sioux. And it was the same story. She'd come see me, I'd go see her. When I got my job at Carmoose Lime, uh, I was 19 years old when I got in. Uh, I started October 31st of 2012, um, and uh, everything just started to roll really quickly for me, and Mel was of course away at school still. So uh, we face challenges. I mean, with any long-distance relationship, there's always challenges. But uh, we fought through it, and September 7th of 2013, uh, we got married. Uh, awesome, awesome wedding. Uh, all the groomsmen and myself were all dressed in camo vests and then dress shirt and dress pants. And uh, the girls, well, Mel was obviously in a traditional bridal gown. And uh, the girls were had a brown sash with pink dresses. It was really fun. Uh, we had a beach wedding at the camp where our trailer was parked at the time. And our reception, we had it at the Round Barn in... Uh, uh, oh, just the other side of Iron Bridge. Anyway, uh, I'll mention it if I think of the name. But I can't think of the name right now. Anyway, it beautiful beautifully redone barn and it's it's literally a round barn it's circular so we had a reception there and it was a lot of fun and Mel went back to school uh, that February that April we found out that she was pregnant from my daughter Adeline and uh, we had bought our first house and I was uh, basically we got our first house on a steal of a deal but it needed completely redone, so I started gutting the whole thing, and we redid it top to bottom. If I can figure out how to do it, I'll try to put some uh, pictures in so that you guys uh, can see it. So my daughter ended up being born uh, five weeks prematurely, and uh, I hadn't had the host done yet. Uh, we were in Sault Ste. Marie for the birth, and that night one of the nurses came in realized that her stomach was a little bit distended. And her color was about, wasn't right. <clears throat> so, uh, the nurse took her, and we found out uh, about two hours later 
that uh, she was taken to the NICU at the Suary Hospital and she was being flown to London the next day. So once Mel got discharged the next day, we drove down to London and uh, we spent five weeks there with Adeline. And that's where we stayed with the, the Ronald McDonald House. And that is an amazing, amazing charity. Um, basically, they charge you $10 per night to be there. Uh, they supply breakfast and they supply dinner. Uh, it, they have normally they have volunteers come in and cook dinner. If they don't have volunteers, uh, they'll order pizza or whatever. Uh, for lunch, there's always the leftovers from the dinner in the fridge, or you can go into the pantry and they have donated soups and all sorts of stuff that you can cook for yourself. Uh, amazing, amazing charity, amazing place. Uh, literally, it was in the parking lot of the hospital, so. We were never more than five minutes from our daughter. Uh, when we did leave her hospital room, it was just to go back to our room there and either eat or uh, sleep. Because uh, as, as hard as it is to say, the hardest thing to do in a situation like that is take care of yourself when uh, all you want to do is be there for your child. But... Uh, Thanks to the amazing doctor, uh, amazing staff, amazing nurses. Uh, everything went really smoothly. She was out in five weeks. We were back home. And while we were gone, uh, my parents and a bunch of their friends actually finished our old house for us. So when we left, I had the drywall up and we were starting to mud. Uh, but we had no flooring or anything in the house. So they came in, they painted everything, they put flooring in and uh, finished up the little trim pieces and whatnot that I had left to do. A um, little bit of plumbing. So we were extremely grateful for that as well. Uh, after that, uh, we stayed in that house for eight months and uh, we decided to, to sell that house because it was always intended to be a flip house. So we sold that house, made good money on it, paid off a lot of stuff that we had owed and we bought this house that we're currently in uh, and we absolutely love this house and as you can see we're starting to finish the basement we're just making it our own now uh, which is nice so um, my son Cole was born March 27th of 2017 and there he was uh, he was a natural birth everything was normal there was just, he had no health issues and He's uh, been an elite machine ever since. So that's basically our story. Uh, we didn't have anything else to do in the vlog today, so I figured I'd bore you guys with that one. Uh, we're basically going to get ready to sign off for the night now and get the kids down for, for bed now. So that's about it for us. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like the videos. Leave leave us some comments. I uh, would love to hear what you guys have to think about everything. So remember, guys, you do you. See you tomorrow.